Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today I'm gonna play 2.6 Hog and I will give you guys some tips on how to use this deck. So let's directly jump into the match and this guy have Dagger Duchess so I will not go in with my Hog alone. So I will try to have uh, my Ice Golem as a tank as that will give me a good amount of value. So first of all let's see what this guy is running and I think this is gonna be a cycle deck or this can be giant guys as giant is uh, really famous right now and he's giving us a good fireball value but uh, I will fireball his pump and we have dagger duchess on our defense so she can give us a lot of good elixir trade. Bomber will be taken out and uh, I think that was a flawless defense but uh, we are low in elixir but still we can go in with our hog guys let's do it and let's see what he will do and he places his prince and I think he misplaced it it will come towards my dagger duchess and uh, not for the defense so that was uh, quite bad for him and we have cannon down and I think this is giant guys as all the elements are of giant I will fireball and lock this let's fireball and uh, lock this one and this will take out his uh, elixir collector entirely and this is uh, not the best trade guys as it got two elixir extra but it's okay let's see now what he will do and he places his giant from the back so just remember the sequence guys I will tell you I will place my musketeer from the back so that musketeer can target his giant from the far away and I will place my ice golem to just to have as a tank for my musketeer and I will place my evo skelly like this even if you don't have evo skelly you can go in with the skellies and uh, that will just uh, keep uh, his uh, units which are coming behind giant busy for some moment and that's uh, really great guys and you can see I will send my hog on top of his elixir collector and again I will do the same thing guys I will place my musketeer and I will place ice golem as a tank for my musky and avoid playing this if uh, your opponent is uh, running lightning but in this deck don't have lightning guys so you can just uh, go in with that and you can see it's uh, just an easy defense guys he can't do anything and that's it let's move on to next one so we are in the match guys and uh, I will start with hog as he is a running princess guys so we can just uh, go in with our naked hog we don't need uh, ice golem I will place my cannon for his hog and this guy is a running I think hog EQ. This deck is really good against 2.6 guys but when you have dagger ditches there is a significant amount of difference and your opponent's hog you can defend really easily and whenever they have to come in with your hog they have to put knight in front of that so that's the game guys. So Dagger Duchess makes life really easier on your defensive side. Now I think uh, he will try to come in with his hog but I don't think this guy have that in cycle. So I will place my ice golem to kite all of this and uh, I will try to get the king tower activation. Uh, so he places his uh, EQ. I will go in with my hog. Let's see what else he will do. That's a really nice log. And I knew it he will come in with his lock for my musketeer and I think I will get the king tower activated so that's uh, really well played. Now he can come in with his hog as my dagger duchess uh, don't have any ammo so that's the point when they should play their hog. He wasted his log I think he was trying to click something but he mistakenly did that I will fireball this firecracker most of the people don't fireball but I just don't wanna give firecracker that much of value so I always do that as firecracker always gets the value guys 
I will place my skelly like this and uh, I will try to have a push going in. Let's uh, try to do that and uh, let's go in with our hog and ice spirit. Let's see if we can get some value with our skellies or not. Uh, skellies are on top of his uh, knight and I think uh, that's quite a good amount of value. He had to EQ over there and I think we should fireball over here guys or else his hog will get some connection. And that's a uh, nice defense. Let's uh, go in with our hog and I think I should go in with my log as well. That's a really nice log. But at some point of the match, I think uh, this guy can break through. So we must be ready with our ice golem for his uh, knight. And we should be ready for the defense as well, guys. Musketeer is uh, taking out those goblins. And I think Musketeer will get one shot. That's great. And... Uh, he is coming in with his knight and hawk push. I was talking about this, guys. This uh, is going to be an annoying push for me as my dagger duchess is reloading and his hawk will get one shot still. And you must uh, be ready for this, guys. I will fireball these two and will try to get a good amount of value. But my hawk will not get any damage and that was a really nice defense from him. I will go in with my evolve spirit and this time i will stop his uh, knight at the bridge as i don't want him to cross so that he can tank for the hog we can fireball this uh, but i think we should be going in with our log this firecracker will get some value guys that's why i hate firecracker he is slowly closing up the gap guys and i think we should be more focused on defense now Rather than offense, let's uh, fireball over here and uh, nice fireball value for us guys. Let's go in with Hog, but uh, this is a total waste as he have dust luck ready. But now what we can do is that we can just uh, outcycle this guy. But uh, dust is still there and uh, let's fireball this firecracker. Our Hog will get to the tower and that's one shot. He will try to send his Hog guys that's nice ice spirit let's lock this back and uh, let's put down our cannon i will fireball over here as his uh, firecracker could have gotten the value on top of my musketeer so it's the last 10 seconds we need to cycle our spells and i think this firecracker will get some value let's put down our cannon and that's it guys ggs and if they're has been time then he could have won the match but still guys so we are in the match and uh, we are having hog in our first hand and you can see i just want to show you how bad hog is when we play it nakedly against dagger duchess it just gets one shot and that's like crazy guys Dagger Duchess is so good in defense. Let's go in with Hog and Ice Golem. Let's see what he have, guys. And this guy is running a Mega Knight deck. And this is going to be an easy one for us, I think. I think I should not be using Ice Spirit as uh, Dagger Duchess will take out those. And I will get the King Tower activation. But unfortunately, my Ice Spirit betrayed me guys okay so we are in a really good spot right now as we are leading in with a huge amount of damage and we have ice golem and hog let's see if he is already back to the mega knight or not let's go in with our hog and ice golem let's do it guys so bomb tower is there so now i think uh, it's uh, gonna be tough to break through this but we have to outcycle this guys if we can outcycle this then we can win this okay we have to log and i spit it this now we have our ice golem and i think he is back to his mega knight so i will just try to bait out something and then I will go in with my hog 
Our hog will still get one shot and that's great guys. Okay, let's uh, put down our musketeer, let's put down Skelly and uh, you can see we didn't need to do anything about that firecracker on the left as Dagger Duchess can easily take that out. He is back to his bomb tower so I will pre-fireball to predict it and you can see our hog will get the tower down guys. It's already GG's now we just need to defend this and uh, it's uh, an easy match guys. Let's put a nice golem over here and uh, I think we shouldn't be doing anything about these but it's okay. This firecracker will get the value. Oh I completely forgot about the balloon guys. I think we should be guiding this to our king tower. Let's do it. Let's log this back and uh, you can see firecracker still gets the value. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button and subscribe guys and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye bye.